All right, hey guys, it's Harrison here, and uh, I'm not sure if you guys have heard the news or seen the articles, but I'm gonna put them in the description below. I have a big announcement that I made today. Um, it's been something that I've thought about for a long time, that this is my final year of playing professional women's hockey. Yeah, so I just wanted to make a video and clarify reasons as to why I'm not playing anymore and to reasons why I've decided to stop. So, um, Transitioning definitely is a big deal for me, and it's definitely a factor into my pros and cons list of deciding whether or not this is my final year. I just simply can't really go on. Moving on to these diff these pivotal moments in my life, I'm turning 24 years old, um, I'm starting my career um, off the ice, uh, I'm still pursuing a job, and I just, as I said in my last video, I do not want to start a job and pursue a career and build in the workforce as a woman in this body. I'm obviously not a woman, but um, I don't want to be a pre-op trans man that's viewed as a woman in society. I, I get misgendered all the time, and that's not something that I want in this stage of my life. Um, now I don't want people that are younger watching this video saying, oh well he had to give up hockey, so um, and he's pre-op so he's 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 stopping because he can't deal with it. I did deal with it. I've, I've played hockey for 15 years and I made a huge career out of it. I got my college degree paid for. I uh, got to play professionally and everything like that. So I did not give up on it. I milked it for as long as I could. Most people that play at my level that don't have Olympic dreams and everything like that usually stop around this time or a few years, give or take, and that's just the path that I'm given. I'm not paid enough in the NWHL to live off and to be comfortable. Um, so I want to start making more money, I want to start saving, I want to start living life as an adult, and I can't do that. I can't do that the way that I want to do it with the salary that I have right now, and I need to start pursuing other things, and that means that I have to put hockey aside, and it's sad. It is, like I, I keep having these thoughts of, am I doing the right thing? What if I could play a little longer? And somebody said to me, um, I sent in a text message, I was like, you know, like in the back of my mind, I feel like, am I making the right decision? And they said to me that I've had, I've given a lot to hockey, especially in the last six months or so, and I've helped a lot of people, and now it's time for me to take care of myself. And that really did stick with me, is that I do need to, take time for myself and I do need to do something for me and what I need to do is is physically transition and that's not something that I can do while playing in the league that I'm in. Now I'm toying with the idea of maybe getting my surgery, top surgery and starting hormones and healing and um, maybe I would consider playing in a men's league but um, again I'm extremely small and the odds um, the odds are not in my favor, so I don't know. We'll see. So that's why I'm saying I'm retiring from professional women's hockey. I'm done playing women's sports. Who knows? Maybe I will play um, on the men's side. I'm not sure. So I'm not ruling that out, um, but I'll take it as it comes. Um, but for now, I really just need to focus on my career, focus on my relationship, um, and making my life go in the direction that I want it to go in. Now I've reached a plateau in hockey. I'm not I'm not going to make a living yet. I hope that maybe in the future uh, women will make a good living playing the sport that they love and I think that that should be equality for all sports, not just hockey. I think soccer, everything. I think everyone should follow the model of tennis. I'm getting very tired of being seen as a woman in society and I'm just be getting very tired of being misgendered and I just watch videos of, of trans men um, when they're transitioned and I'm getting very jealous of their deep voices and their facial hair and everything so um, it's my time. Now I don't want anybody watching this to rush their decision and say oh Harrison Brown and he's transitioning I have to transition like obviously I know I don't have that big of an impact in your life but like I don't want that to happen. I want everybody to play the sport that they love as long as they can. Now, if that means that you have to stay in the body that you're in, that you're uncomfortable in, 
then then so be it. But um, obviously, if you're if you're young or if you're tra physically transitioning and you want to go to the men's side, that's great. Like as long as you can keep playing the sport that you love, I just don't want people to rush into it because like you do have your whole life to transition. And I know that some people, it's really hard to uh, envision a daily life being misgendered and stuff. And I know that some people have to cut it short for mental health reasons and that is so valid and that is so relevant. Um, but I just want people to, if you can, just be patient and your time will come. You can watch these videos of these people, those post off um, trans men and they're on hormones and everything like that. And you can watch that and you can be envious of it, but don't let that deter you and don't let that bring you down and speed up your process. <clears throat> if you need to do it now, do it now. If you need to wait a few years, you can wait a few years. That's what I did. I've been waiting for 23 plus years um, to physically transition and the light at the end of the tunnel is so, is so close to me now that I feel that I've given myself as much as I can to my sport. I've, I've gotten the transgender policy started. I've become the first ever transgender athlete in team sports in North America and I'm really happy that I broke down that wall so that now I'm gone but I hope that I can maybe pass the torch down to somebody that that needs it and somebody that uh, can be brave and uh, take the reins on this so um, this isn't goodbye I'm not uh, stopping my YouTube I'm not stopping any of my things I'm staying active in the NWHL I am the inclusion leader of the advisory board and I'm gonna do what I can off the ice um, to help out because I can't see myself giving up hockey and the NWHL has given me a lot and women's hockey has given me a lot so it's my time to get back to women's hockey and that's how I'm doing it um, now for what I want to do once I'm done playing hockey once I'm done hanging up with skates. I really want to start my career in professional sports. Behind the scenes, I like the front office aspect of it, um, so I'm going to be pursuing jobs in NHL teams, AHL teams, um, sports agencies, scouting, PR, anything to do with sports I'm going to get my hands on, so I've been applying, 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 applying. Hopefully, hopefully I'll hear something soon and get a job, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. I just wanted to let you know that, but I will be documenting everything. I'm still going to be active on my social medias, and don't lose you guys just because because I I'm not an athlete I'll always be an athlete but I won't be a, the trans man in the NWHL so I hope that you all still will support me and it's weird to think that I will be done I just don't want to disappoint anybody um, thinking that I gave up but I didn't I thought about this for a while, and I kind of, I kind of did think to myself that I would play maybe two or three years in the NWHL when I first started. And so what? It didn't happen to be three years, but it happened to be two years, and I had two amazing years, and I couldn't be happier. And I'm happy, I'm happy that I could help people in my own little way, and um, I want to help people more. And I'm gonna have to find another stage. So I've, I've already accepted a few offers to speak at some conferences and um, kind of advocate for trans rights and that's kind of what I want to do now too as, as well as um, work in sports I also want to work in advocacy so um, I'll be doing as many of those as I can um, in the future so so yeah feel free and um, I'll keep doing publicity as long as people want to talk to me because I want to get transgender stories out there and the more people that we talk to, the more articles that we get out, the more valid we are. And I just want to create visibility. Well, that's what I wanted to do when I came out as uh, transgender in my league. I wanted there to be visibility. And I wanted to help hockey playing trans guys. So that's what I did. And now um, I'm going to try a different outlet because yeah, you're always gonna be a hockey player, but there's also other people that need your help. And I'm gonna try to seek out those other people. So. It's the end of an era for me. It's a 15 year commitment that I've made to a sport. It's my life and it's changing and it's very scary. And maybe I'll do another video on kind of how I deal with the unknown. <laughs> but maybe I'll do it when I kind of have a grasp on the unknown because I'm, I'm kind of floundering. I'm kind of drowning and I don't really know what I'm doing. But that's what life is. And um, 
All I know is that I feel that I'm ready to start a physical transition and I'm ready to give up hockey for now. I'm ready to hang up the skates and kind of focus on my mental health. And yeah, because you're all you have. And I just feel that I'm ready. So thank you guys for listening to me. Um, and thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me. And I'm sorry that I you won't be able to watch me next year, but hopefully you'll be watching me on another stage. So anyways, take care.